Absolutely. And no one knows that better than our next speaker. Please give it up for the president of your local 4948, Maureen O'Reilly. from uh, Occupy uh, New York and it uh, said there must be something wrong when the librarians take to the streets and I think we can all agree on yeah. that. Yeah. It has been a very hard year for our members and the majority of the public who cherish Toronto's libraries. Our members joined with the public and fought back library closures but we still lost 107 positions in the 2012 budget. And make no mistake, service will suffer because of this. The Toronto Public Library has been cut to the bone. These cuts have been felt most deeply by the workers who are now being stretched to provide the same service with less. We entered this negotiation with a goal to protect workers. We entered this negotiation with a goal to protect workers and the services they provide. We were not seeking major gains. But the board has been unwilling to end its attack on job security and virtually unmovable in its agenda to shift our workforce to more vulnerable part-time conditions. Shame. 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 The board is still seeking to gut job security so that more than half of our membership is vulnerable to job loss, making it easier for the city to close branches in the next budget. Shame. Shame. And I just want to pause on that note. In 2012, at the launch of the budget, the mayor, Rob Ford, who sits back there in this building, made the announcement that he wants to get rid of 7,000 city workers. Oh. He said we were all lazy and he had to get rid of us. In 2012 budget process, we lost over 1,200 city workers, both from the outside workers, the inside workers, and the library workers. And by my calculations, he's got 6,800 more to go. And that's why this fight today is so important. We lost 107 library workers in this last round. He needs to open up our collective agreement so he can lay more and more of us off. And the library board is going to portray to you that the union is not moving, that we're being intransigent, and that uh, we're not talking. We are talking, we are available, but we need this issue resolved. Because if we lose library workers, and he only got a hundred of us the last time, and now he's looking to get over half of our membership, libraries are going to be shuttered forever. We don't have enough staff to deliver the service now after these service cuts and any more loss of staff means loss of service to Torontonians and they need to know that this is what this is all about. It's not a regular round of collective bargaining and the library workers just like we did throughout the budget process and the campaign that we ran in in the fall we're standing up for services in the city of Toronto. Torontonians deserve to have their library service. I don't know if you know, but Canadians are the biggest readers in the world next to Denmark. They love their libraries. And they deserve to have their library service. And just like the uh, library workers stood up for cuts to branches, cuts to open hours, cuts to uh, collections, and cuts to programs, yes, we are standing up for ourselves now because we're the last line between the cuts to service that is going to take place in this city if this guy gets his way. And I want you to tell him, no, it's no way. No. 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 We saw a loss of services this year, and it's only the beginning. 
We saw a loss of service to six sick kids hospital. We saw a loss of service to Bridgepoint Hospital. We saw the Urban Affairs Library uh, closed down. Um, and we saw just in the last couple of weeks, the Center for Disabilities closed down at the Toronto Reference Library as a direct result of those 107 recent cuts. So that's it's only the beginning of what is going to happen and what they are trying to extract from us at the bargaining table. And over half our membership is now part-time with little hope of being able to find a full-time career at the library. The community doesn't get the same level of service when workers can't make a career doing what they love. And I just want to take a moment on behalf of the library workers and thank Toronto for your tremendous support. Of and I want to thank the labor movement for, again, their incredible uh, support to us. Because is their fight as these austerity agendas across the city, across the province, across the country, and across the world are trying to, uh, to take hold. And we all need to uh, draw the line and push back, and certainly it's now our time to do that in Toronto. And I just wanted, on a final note, I just want to thank the library workers of Toronto Public Library. don't usually do <laughs> and we fought so hard in the fall to protect the library service and I just want to say that's all we're continuing to do today and I think you can see from the response to this rally today the tremendous resolve of the library workers because we all know that if we're gone there will be no library service and that's what we're fighting for so thank you Woo!